This video presents the Temple of Athena Nike in the Athenian Acropolis. This temple's not as famous as the other temples of the Acropolis like the Parthenon or the Erechtheion. However, it is a temple who had rich sculptural decorations and is worthy of your attention, especially if you are planning to visit the actual site. This temple is the only building of the Athenian Acropolis following the Ionic Order. In fact, during the 5th century BC, the delicate Ionic Order was neglected but the erection of this temple revived it in Greece. Specifically, there have been found five Ionic temples in Attica to this day. So, without further delay, let's discover the Temple of Athena Nike. As you are ascending the stairs to the Propylia, there is a small temple on your right. This temple is the Temple of Athena Nike, a small Ionic temple made of pentelic marble. The Ionic Order was one of the three orders of ancient Greek architecture. The most distinctive parts of the order were the columns and the Ionic frieze. The columns ended with the Ionic capital, which had feminine proportions, according to the historian Vitruvius. In the description of the video, you can find a free link of a three-dimensional representation of an Ionic column. The entablature of the Ionic temples consisted of three parts, a plain architrave, a frieze with reliefs and a cornice. On the roof, there were the pediments, with the pedimental sculptures. In the description of the video, you can find a free link of a three-dimensional representation of an Ionic temple. The Temple of Athena Nike is not a typical Ionic temple. In fact, was influenced by the architectural order that the Parthenon introduced a few years before, known as the Attic Order. A characteristic example is that the walls and the columns of the temple turn slightly inward to give the visitor the impression that the structure is taller. The temple was dedicated to the goddess Athena Nike, which in Greek means the victorious goddess Athena. It was erected on top of older temples between 426 and 421 BC during the Peloponnesian War, a war between Athens and Sparta, the two most powerful city-states of Greece. The first thing one could notice as he is walking from the west toward the monumental gate of the Acropolis, the Propylia, is the backside of the Temple of Athena Nike. This is because the entrance of the temple is oriented to the east. The ancient Greek temples, with few exceptions, were always oriented to the east. This is not accidental. According to Plato, the sun symbolized the good and from the east flowed divine powers to the world of the humans. So, having the entrance of the temple facing east the sun bathed the temple with its rays and charged it with divine powers. The erection of the temple seems that have a rich political background that triggered a series of conflicts between the Democratic Party and the Conservative Party in Athens. During that time, Athens was under the large public investment program of Pericles, and the statesman feared that the erection of this temple would delay his plans. As a result, Pericles didn't support the erection of this temple. According to an ancient inscription, the initial decision for the construction of the temple was made in 449 BC after the peace treaty between Athens and Persia, known as Peace of Callias. However, the grand opening took place in 421 BC after Pericles' death and the peace of Nicaeus between Athens and Sparta. The architect of the temple was Callicrates, who had also built the Parthenon with Ictinus. The supervisor of the sculptural decoration was Agoracritos, a close friend and student of Phidias. Agoracritos was an important sculptor of classical Greece, born on the island of Paros, an island of the Aegean with an important quarry. He was a pupil and collaborator of Phidias and participated in the sculptural decoration of the Parthenon. The upper part of the temple was decorated with a relief Ionic frieze depicting mythological scenes and historic battles while the pediments were decorated with pedimental sculptures depicting also mythological scenes. After the erection of the temple, 
a parapet was built along the bastion's three sides for safety reasons. It had relief decorations and consisted of slabs approximately one meter in height whose outer surfaces were decorated with relief scenes visible by those ascending the Acropolis. The frieze in Ionic temples was an architectural element. It was a continuous band, with relief decoration, that sat upon the architrave. The frieze of the Temple of Athena Nike consisted of 14 blocks overall that depicted different scenes on each of its sides. The east frieze of the Temple of Athena Nike depicts the gathering of the gods around Zeus, who sits on his throne roughly in the middle of this side. The archaeological community is divided here. Some researchers suggest that the gods watch Athena's birth from Zeus' head. Others suggest that they take part in the weighing of Achilles and Memnon's souls, two heroes of the Trojan War, so that the gods can decide whom of the two they will let live. The North Frieze of the temple features the war that Eurystheus declared against Athens when the city refused to turn over to him Heracles' children. The battle ended with the Athenians' triumph. Some other experts suggest that the scene depicts the Battle of Plataea and the slaughter of the Persian cavalry leader Masisto. The south frieze of the Temple of Athena Nike most probably depicts the Greeks' victorious battle against the Persians at Marathon in 490 BC, where the Athenian general Miltiades played a leading role. There are two suggestions regarding the interpretation of the West Frieze. The first is that this side depicts the battle between the Athenians and Spartans in Amphilochia in 426 BC, and the second is the battle of the Athenians and Corinthians in Megara in 458 BC. Both battles ended with the victory of the Athenians. Today nine of the 14 blocks of the Frieze are in the Acropolis Museum. One has been lost and four of them are in the British Museum in London after they were removed by Thomas Bruce, Lord of Elgin, in the beginning of the 19th century. The pediments in ancient Greek temples are the triangular spaces formed by the cornice of the roof on the narrow sides of the building. The pediments of ancient temples are usually decorated with sculptures. The Greek term etomata derives from the Greek word eidos, which means eagle. So the ancient Greeks named the pediments, etomata, because their shape resembles an eagle with open wings. Due to the human interventions on the monument, preserved are only a few fragments from the pediments, which makes their interpretation uncertain. It has been suggested that the west pediment featured the Amazonomachy, and the east the Gigantomachy. According to the myth, the Amazonomachy was the battle between prehistoric Athenians and Amazons, a tribe of warlike women from the Black Sea known for their riding and arrowing skills. The myth suggested that the battle took place at Areopagus and ended with the victory of the Athenians. The Gigantomachy was a mythical battle between the Olympian gods and the mighty giants, who did not recognize the former's rule and tried to overturn the world order. The Gigantomachy was a favorite subject of Athenians. The victory of the gods symbolized the triumph of light, stability, and order against the darkness, instability, and chaos. Around 410 BC a marble parapet was built along the bastion's three sides for safety reasons. This parapet was decorated with carved winged Nike figures leading bulls to be sacrificed or adorn victory trophies before the seated Athena. These decorations were a celebration of the military victories of the Athenians against their enemies, either Persians or other Greeks. In 1687 the temple and the parapet of Athena Nike were striped by the Ottomans to reinforce the west side of the Acropolis against the attacks by the Venetians under the command of General Francesco Morosini. During one of the attacks, the walls of the Parthenon along with six columns of the south side and eight of the north, collapsed leaving the greatest temple of classical Greece in ruin. If you want to extend your research, 
have a look to the description of the video for more links and sources, including a free link with a 360 degrees view of the internal space of the temple and a free link of a three-dimensional representation of the temple created exclusively for the needs of the video. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to support our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell to get a notification every time a new video is added.